Thank you, Jennifer. Now to a developing story in North Harris County. That is where three teenagers are recovering after they were hurt in an ATV crash last night. Right, and we know one of those teens was seriously injured. Channel 2's Taisha Walker has the very latest on the teen's conditions. Taisha, good morning. Andy, good morning. You know that ATV should not have been here on this road on Cedar Hill yesterday, but because it was, those teens got into an accident. They crashed right into this brick mailbox and went right across the street where that ATV ended up coming to a stop. And because of it, one of those teens is fighting for his life this morning. A disfigured ATV with twisted tires. The impact of the one vehicle accident was strong. Strong enough to send the three teens who were riding it to the hospital, one with a serious head trauma. Um, we're just really trying to find out the, the extent of the injuries on the passenger. They were pretty serious, so just trying to make sure that they're going to make it okay because there were some pretty serious head injuries. Deputies say a 13-year-old girl was behind the wheel, two 14-year-old boys riding in the back. Deputies say the girl lost control of the ATV while speeding westbound on Cedar Hill around 8 o'clock Sunday night. She crashed right into a brick mailbox. They were traveling at a high rate of speed down Cedar Hill. The driver lost control of the vehicle, struck a mailbox. After striking the mailbox, the ATV flipped a couple of times. All of the occupants were ejected off of the ATV. None of them were wearing helmets, which is how deputies say that 14 year old suffered serious head trauma. The other two just had cuts and bruises. According to the Texas DMV, the ATV shouldn't have been on a public street, especially for a joyride. So how did those teens get a hold of that ATV? Deputies say they believe it belonged to one of the children's parents. They're still working to figure out this morning which one. We're putting live in North Harris County, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. We've also got breaking